Mother's Day special. It is Sunday, May 12th, 2024, and we are past noon on Mother's Day. What do you think? Nothing. Uh, had my mom and dad over for breakfast this morning. That went well. Uh, what'd you think of breakfast? Good. Man, it was pretty good, wasn't it? Uh huh. I think we cooked breakfast pretty good. We are without Franklin today. We are. So he will. He will be back next, though. Maybe. Yeah, you know, last podcast we did it without Lincoln, and this one we're doing it without Franklin. Franklin is hanging out upstairs, so it's just a dad, older son special. And Lincoln is looking at me like he wants to throw up because I am cringe. No. So what's up? Nothing. What do you um, got going on this week? All right, let me see. NGSLA, Mickle Market, Eagles Autism Walk, Plus Party. Um, What else? We had like three... Two baseball games for Franklin. Well, one up. I probably had to go to one, but we, we only have, have one. We do. Yeah. We got a Phillies game. We have a pretty loaded week. Dude, it's a packed week. Packed. You have. Let's get let's get the the I, NJSLA yeah. out of the way. So that's like all week testing. I have a Phillies game, an Eagles party, and an Eagles autism walk. Monday in three days in a row. Monday we have Franklin's game, and. Mickle Market. So I unfortunately will have to miss Mickle Market again. And I will be at Franklin's game Tuesday. We have what do we have on Tuesday? Um, I think we just have NGSLI on Tuesday. Okay, so Tuesday just your testing. Wednesday, just your testing. I think Franklin has a game on Wednesday. He does not. Then I I think we have none on Wednesday. Thursday. Philly's game. Philly's game. Friday, Eagles party, and me and you pick up our stuff because we are doing on Saturday. Our, our This is the highlight of the week, our autism walk. It's our autism walk run. We're doing a 5K. We, we can meet Eagles players, and you can raise money for autism, and it's going to be pretty fun. It's my first time doing it, but like it's gotten good reviews, and it's uh, it looks fun, so... It, it does look fun. Um, the only thing is, I'm not a good runner, so or walker, really. Like I can obviously I can run and walk, but not for expen- extended periods of time. Well, so I never do the turkey turkey trot. Here's the thing, dude. You're always stronger than you think you are. You're always tougher than you think you are, and the reason I know that is because like whenever you're put, whenever someone's put in like a situation where it's like they have to do something. They end up doing it. There's that um, kind of like a legend where a car or some heavy object falls on a child and the mother is able to like pick it up and move it off, whereas she wouldn't be able to ordinarily. But because her child's under there, she gets like, you know, superhuman strength. I know. I have a feeling that with my guidance, me and you will be able to complete this 5K with no problem whatsoever. Like, put this in per- to perspective. Like, when we had a fire yesterday, we had like a we have like a fire pit and we have fires there. Yesterday, good weather, so we had one. Me and Frank were playing, but then I wanted to sit down, but then he wanted to keep playing. So then I like fake played, and I didn't try at all. And then, when I really want to play, I like try like mm. like say there was a LeBron James. Autograph right there. I'd probably dive and get it, and Franklin would probably come too. And if it was like, I don't, I don't even know, but I've definitely like been in a situation where I'm stronger when I uh, something. Uh, uh, eh. So I think what you're saying is, is when you really want to do something, you can do it. Yep, that's what I'm saying. So I guess. There's a little bit of a mind hack there where you can convince yourself. I used to do this when I was a kid. 
I used to be like, oh my God, um, I don't want to do this. But then I would pretend I'd be like, okay, if I do this, I'm going to be able to eat pizza afterwards. Well, you're not. I know, but you like convince yourself to do it. And then what you find out afterwards is that you did it without the reward. So you're like, this isn't that hard. I can do that. Push the hold on. Push the what? cricket button. Hold on. I'm gonna sing something really quick. No. No, I wanted to give it okay, here we go. There's a song. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. You were the cringiest person ever. Well, I mean if cringe means It means it means weird and not if funny. cringe cringe means like real smart. It doesn't. Ripped. So funny. And like You're talented. I am pretty cringe. I'm pretty cringe. No, it's cringe watching you rub your face like a dog. <laughs> God. So you have a lot to do today, man. We decided to do this, me and you, but... So tomorrow Lincoln's doing the Mickle Market and he's going to have sourdough bread, sourdough pretzels. He's going to have all kinds of like Rice Krispie-esque treats. Don't like worry. It, after this, we have to get started right away. Yeah, like Rice Krispie treats, tricks treats. Cocoa Puff treats. Cocoa Puff treats. Regular. Right. I already said that one. And then they're going to be, oh, dude, you got so, oh yeah, Fruit Loop treats and, and then we got to print all the stuff out and i haven't even finished right now what do you have to print out the recipes i oh. i haven't even started the sourdough recipe mom th and that will take two seconds when mom does it but because i don't like i know i have to do it but mom knows the recipes better well mom can tell you the recipes i mean you've I'll, helped her make this bread but like all i know that's in there is like flour discard uh not in the sourdough there's no discard in the sourdough i mean flour starter yeah um there's some salt Salt. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The sourdough. Salt. The sourdough is a process, man. It's hard, but it's good when it's. Eaten. First off, you you have a child in the refrigerator. You yep. have this like living starter that you have to like feed. I named it Jimmy. And then put it in for a nap. You have to rub, rub, wrap a blanket around it. Its name is Jimmy. It grows. Me and Mom decided that it's Jimmy, and we eat Jimmy every dinner. Well, Jimmy tastes really good. <laughs> Dad's probably eating too much of Jimmy. Yeah, I like Jimmy. He's good. Um, he's 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 not even. I have a feeling, old. though. I'm gonna make. I feel like I'm gonna make like a lot of money. I have a feeling the adults will curb your expectations just a little bit. You don't want to get disappointed. I just just try really hard, sell a good product, and guess what? You might have to sell people because believe it or not, I think there's less. So me and your mother are tapped into different wavelengths when it comes to like social things. But your mom is like, oh my God, sourdough is like life, th the next biggest thing. And I'm like, okay, I, I agree. But when you go to the food store, there's not shelves of sourdough bread. There's, there's like, like there's like four loaves of it. So it's a very niche market. So and people here's, have been making sourdough for- Oh, they have for a long time. 3,000 years. I mean, here's what I want to tell you, dude. This is why I say that you might have to sell- like the act of selling is because like, I feel like the Rice Krispie treats Our and goodness. the other treats, I feel like they're going to sell easy. Yeah. Because everyone knows what they are. Everyone likes them. I mean, oh my God. Especially, we're also in this debate. I want you to do both, like have them in the rectangles, but then also cut them in cubes, almost like giant sugar cubes. Because yeah. kids I, gonna are going to be able to just pop them in their mouth. Like one, like one thing, you know? And if you sell them in a cup like we got, so I think I think you'll do good, but you like know. last year, if I made three hundred, I actually did. I made three hundred seventy eight dollars. If I made that from doing, well, it's probably because of the pricing, because I made it like eight and five dollars. But I decided this year I'm not gonna make it like two fifty. I'm gonna make it like, ten, like three dollars or something like that. So it's easier. Well, here's what I want to you to do though: win, in. lose, or draw. No matter how much money you make or you don't make, it's fun though. It's fun. It's a process. But Some of the best entrepreneurs ever. These guys you see on Shark Tank. Um, mm -hmm. These guys that have started businesses. They started yeah. kids like you. 
they would sell like lemonade. They would do like newspapers, stuff like that. So I, also I think it's wanna, pretty cool. I also want to spend some of my money. Well, this this is a totally separate conversation. But Cause, no, because I feel like you're gonna like I'm gonna say like d- take this for instance. Like I'm not saying I'm gonna make five hundred dollars, but just well, guys, I made five hundred dollars. You guys just come over and say I'll hold it for you. You take it and you use it. And I'm like, I want to use that. And then I'm like, too bad. That's what happened last year. I only got to spend like $10. And then you took it all. Well. I actually didn't get to spend any. I actually got to new, spend 10 because my me, friend was selling So me. here's a news flash for the audience. You could, you probably could have guessed. Given the fact that we're talking on a podcast set up in our basement, that Lincoln doesn't have to really want for that many things. Typically, when he wants something, if he's had decent behavior and he's keeping up his grades in school, he typically gets it. There's lessons learned in there. The only thing but Lincoln, was the Nintendo. That's the only thing that we got because of my grades. Are you serious? The Nintendo. How many basketball jerseys do you have right now? Like seven because they got okay. like four for hold Christmas on. Okay, and one on, just ball. And then I got How the many pairs of sneakers right now do you have that fit your feet? Like four, and the only ones that I th- fit me are I think it's more the only than one that four. fit me is the Zion's, the Lucas, the Giannis's, Zions, and the LeBron's. Lucas, Steph Curry's don't fit LeBron's. me anymore. Curry's don't fit me anymore. I have like five pairs of shoes that fit me, which is still the, a lot. But, the Giannis's, which is still a lot. I'm just saying, like I like, like just hold let on, me have my money. Four pairs of Crocs. No, you know why? I won't let you just have your money. Because number one, you'd bring it all to school and buy like Oreos. I'm not. Number two, I'm gonna spend it on. You'd buy like a, s- a, a, a a signed Marsh headband. You, you'd buy Actually, like. A, hey, this is the. Uh, these are the shoelaces that Kobe Bryant wore <laughs> when he was wiping his butt after the championship <laughs> game. <laughs> like. You're you're like way too into this memorabilia stuff right now. You no, have to like, actually, I'm a, I was gonna buy eighty eighty dollar because it's on sale right now. Tyrese Maxi taking a layup. That's a great deal, and it's authentic too. It has been, it's on Fanatics. All right. Well, listen. We'll determine what kind of money we let you hold on to. You should want to have money for when we go on vacation. That's there's nothing. What I'm talking about. I spent you one dollar. Buy I, stuff. I spent one dollar on postcards. When we went to Anna Maria. Well, that's your fault. There's nothing there. We're going to go to Fenwick. That's a, There could be another vacation on the horizon. You never know. I, I just want to get something that's like good, not like some doo-doo All right, show. tell me, if you had $300 in your hand right now, what are three things that you would buy that cost up to $300? Like three things that add up to 300 No, three uh, things. Like three separate things, each one of them worth up to three hundred dollars. All right, number one, I get the MetaQuest Three. What is that? It's basically my Oculus, but upgraded. Bro, you have an Oculus. But that it's upgraded. And, all right, well, you said what I bought. Number four, I'd probably buy a new basketball net for outside. And number three. I'd probably just buy like memorabilia from like someone. That was the wrong button. The only thing that you said in there that made even a little bit of sense is the basketball net. Because you could actually like exercise. Hey, tell the tell the uh the, the listeners what I just got done doing. Exercising. Exercising. In our gym. Yeah, I look ripped. No. What? You don't. I hate, bro, to, I hate to break it to you. Bro, what are you talking about? Who don't I look ripped compared to? Everyone. You don't. You don't. All right, hold on. Look at this. You're not. What about now? You're not. What are you talking about, dude? Look at this. You're not. You're, you're just, not looking at it. You're still not ripped. What are you talking about, dude? Do look at it. You're still not. <laughs> oh, no, dude. You did the Peloton for 25 minutes. I know. I love that Peloton. You should do that every single day. I wanted to get back on the thing so I can go. Why don't you do it? Hold on. Why don't you do it every day? I want to 
want to get to ride in. Why don't I, you do I'll, I'll, it every day? No, I want to go on like those bike rides around the world. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, and also I, also I was gonna buy. About, I was about to rap. And also, I was I was I was also gonna buy this sick. Um, frame that has a piece of a basketball that Steph Curry used for fifty dollars. What's it sick from? Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, they all touched it, and it could have been against a good team too. Does it have the flu? No. It, Why is the frame sick? It's just it's cool. You don't know our terms today. Cringe is weird. Sick is cool, and like. Oh, so you've been using the wrong. Suspicious. Like well, I, I mean, like cool. The wrong it's maybe cool. maybe you're confused. You've been using the wrong word for me then. I think you want to say that I'm sick then, right? Not not cringe. You're a good dad, but you can just be a little cringy sometimes. Can you tell the audience you, like three things that I do that are cringe? On the podcast, you sing and do the cringiest intro of all podcasts. You... Bro, what are you talking about, dude? I use fire beats or, you know, like these little bubble things. All right, so that's two things that I do that are cringe. <laughs> I mean, you you may do one. It's only on the podcast, but oh, so I only do one yeah. thing that's cringe. I, I'm just saying, like, you can be cringe sometimes, like, just like in a way when the family's here, you can just be cringe, and, and yeah. Hmm. But okay, um, yeah. Hmm. Okay. All right. Memorabilia is good. Memorabilia is only worth what someone is willing to pay for it. So I what I would tell understand. you is if there's ever a day that you wanted to start collecting memorabilia. Which is now. Do it because you want the stuff. I do. Not because you think it's going to be worth money. Because yeah. Yeah, it's that, just that's not. What, like, that's what like memorabilia uh, collectors that I've met like do. Like they like they want to get it and. You know what's crazy? Like it's like a Michael Jordan game or jersey. Why don't you want to keep so that? I'm so critical of you, but when I think about it, I was I was identical to you. I remember when I was growing up. See, I didn't even have these grand ideas of having like a, a signed game worn merchandise. But what I would do is I would like I would say like subscribe to a magazine. Like I used to get like five O Mustang. Or, um, you know, muscle Mustangs and fast forwards. And I would keep every single Mustang magazine. I would have, I would have a hundred of them and I would keep them because I'd go, Oh, well, I want to have this because one day these will be, you know what I did about 10 years after that, I looked in my closet and I said, the heck am I doing with all these magazines? So you sold them? And I threw him in the trash. Yeah, that's not like a Michael Jordan game worn jersey. But what I'm saying is, is that like there are things right now that you are so convinced that you want and you're willing to like pay a lot of money for. And then when you get it, it's just like a yeah. And you go, oh, okay, this is a jersey that I can't even I can't even wear. It sits on my wall. Who cares about that? Or a baseball that like's got doo 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 marks on it from being game used and it's got, you know, Babe Ruth's autograph on it. And it's like, okay, you might meet a few people that think it's like really, really cool, but I mean, I, I think it's cool, but like the only reason I really want it not to like show off, just to like ha put it there and say like, like, yeah, you know, like the, and the Tyrese maxi one looks pretty sick. I, if you know what I mean, cool. He's like doing a layup against like the Knicks this year and this is when I was playing my game or practice, like in my basketball season this year. But I, I, I would just want it to display it and like have it, and then maybe, yeah. Okay. Maybe sell it when I get like really, really old and want to go somewhere else. Or Cause I think Terry's Max is gonna be really good. Uh, I do too. Like, like you want to. If you want to start collecting memorabilia, you got to look at the players that you think are going to be really good. Like Tyrese, for example, his signature is worth something, but not as much as a bunch of other players. And then you buy it now, and then like he can become like a fifth. 
like a five time NBA champion like Kobe did and be like the best players. Yeah, see that's the thing, man. These there's definitely like you wonder. Well, I don't think you really wonder because it's it probably wouldn't be. Say Michael Jordan was as good as he was, scored as many points per game. Let's just say he scored two points per game more. So like if he averaged, say like 30, let's just say his average was 32. Whatever he had in assists, increase it by two, rebounds increased by two, and he never won a single championship. He probably would be worth less. What no, he'd be seen as a great player, but like he wouldn't even be in the same category as he is right now. And why I bring that up is Tyrese has like real all star numbers, and he could keep these numbers going for the rest of his career, hypothetically. And if he doesn't win a championship, he's just going to be like, eh, all right, he was a good player. I, I, hey, remember that guy who used to play on the Sixers, Tyrese? Yeah, That's yeah. how Tracy McGrady was. All star, great of- player. That's how Barkley. Barkley. Eh. Yeah, well, Bar- he he's all time great. No matter oh, he is. No matter he's what. absolutely. And they would still be all time greats, but like you wouldn't put them in that like elite category. Like I think, in my opinion, the five best players to touch a basketball were LeBron, Jordan, Kareem, Magic, and Will. Those mm-hmm. are my top five. Not Kobe, because no, not Will. It's either Duncan or Kobe, because Duncan, Dun- Duncan was good. When you look at Duncan's stats and accolades and stuff like that, like his awards, you see like, like if I went up to a play, a person that was like an NBA casual and never heard any player, just knew about the championships and stuff, and I showed him all of his awards, he'd probably say this player's the best player of all time. But then there's Jordan. And, yeah. Hmm. Well. Because Duncan, but I, I don't know, like. Well, what I'm just saying is. We got way off track because we were talking about your money in Mickle Market. So I hope no, you we, have fun. We were talking about Mickle Market to autograph, to what I want to spend on, to autographs, to that. But listen, home. this may come as a surprise to you, but you have money in a bank account. That I can't take out and spend. I put money every single week in a bank account for you. I know because I can't spend any of it. So that's why. And I, I'm but one use day, them. but one day you will. And I bet you when you go to spend it that one day on that one thing that you're like, oh, my God, I really need money for this. I'm going to buy it and then go You're going to be like, oh, my God. Like, maybe it's for a house. I really want to spend it on college, maybe a car. Well, here's an idea. Why don't you be smart enough to where college is free? You're already really smart. You can get a full scholarship. I'm, I'm not smart. What are you talking about you're not smart? There's like five kids in my class that are way smarter than me. In what way? Just everything. They get every, all hundreds and nineties and then they think they're so cool, but they're really not. And yeah. Well, I'm sure that's, that's you saying that, not them. But do you think for a moment, because I've seen the things that you've gotten wrong in the past, which are not a lot. Do you think if maybe you just slowed down a little bit? But it was easy. Well, it was easy. Why didn't you get a hundred? Because I thought... I thought it was dweeb. easy. That was a live dweeb, by the way. All right. Um. So, since Franklin's not here, do we really have to spin? Like, do you want to talk? No, we don't have to spin. Do you know what Franklin did last podcast? I thought it was really good. Franklin asked oh. me questions. He, like, took this group of, of uh, questions, and he picked out questions to ask me. I, I had questions on there that I wanted to keep. I'm so mad I didn't. And Franklin has my laptop now, so I can't go on with those. But um, let's do our NBA recap, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, sure. Do the NBA recap. Every series is up and down. Yeah. Almost every series Doesn't is Doesn't it seem two that way? One. Yeah. I, almost, I think every series right now is two to one. But it seems like one team will win by 20. Next game, the other team wins by 20. I know. Uh, The other team wins by 20. I think it's going to be the Pacers and the the Celtics in the conference finals. I think the Celtics win. I I just changed my my theory about whoever wins the Celtics-Cavs series or loses in the conference finals. I think Celtics win against Pacers. 
Go to the finals. Um, nuggets, Timberwolves. I got Nuggets and f- I got Nuggets in five. No, not Nuggets in five. I got Timberwolves well, in five. Here's the thing: you're gonna hear it first. All right, Are you listening? The winner is coming from the West. Mm. And then I don't know about that, but I think so. Actually, yes, I do. Um, Luca and the Shea Th- Thunder Mavs. I got I got Mavs winning in six. Timberwolves Mavs. I. I got, I got Timberwolves winning in five against the Mavs in the conference finals. Celtics winning six against Pacers, going to the finals. I think, I think Timberwolves win in seven games, like a really really close, like, like every game is either two, five, seven points like that. All right, so that's the NBA wrap up. MLB. Um, yeah, Philly's best team got the best pitcher. You Philly's got, are crushing it, dude. Mm, they are. They got the best pitcher in baseball, in my opinion. Ranger. They're putting up crooked numbers, dude. Yeah, it. I feel like their schedule has kind of been easy. Like after the first three weeks of the season, well, like, give them some credit. I mean they they're they're I mean, rolling right now. I mean they're yeah they're, they are, but like. The Blue Jays, the Giants, now the, the Marlins, re- Here's what I think is going to happen, though. White it's going to be kind of disappointing. I, I can just I could just picture the Mets crushing them, like two games, because they're Mets they're, always play good. they're winning so many games right now. And I mean, they're just like when you bring out the stats, it's like my God, they've just won so many games recently. It looks like they're doing it effortless too. So, well, they're hitting and they're pitching, and um, that's, that's good. Man, you do both of those. Shohei is doing good right now. He, I think he's tied with the home run leaders, and he's got like 30 RBIs. So they had the Dodgers are the second best. Yankees are – yeah, I think it goes Phillies, Dodgers, Yankees, Guardians, Braves. No, Braves, then Guardians, then – but the – Paul Skeen – I think that's his name. He made his debut last that night. Struck out seven. Mm. He was number one overall pick. Struck mm-hmm, out mm-hmm, seven. Mm-hmm. His highest pitch, I think, was like 106, 105. As a rookie. Well. I mean, like, yeah. We're uh, we're about a half an hour in, dude. Do you want to uh, ask some questions? you want me to ask you some questions? I'll ask you some questions. All right, there's a bunch of papers here. You can just give me a little off paper. Okay, let's see. Um, this one. Um, hold on. I. When did your life change better? When did my life change for the better? For the, for the better. Um. Well, my I life was never really bad. I would say that. Like when did like change? Like. Well, there's a few times. One was when I got married. But my life really didn't change that much with that. Like when the, did, like probably start- the biggest was when you were born. Because it went from like, ooh, I could do whatever I wanted to do yeah. and not have to worry about anything. And then when we had you, it's like, oh, crap, we have a living thing. Now, this is a silly debate. Silly debate. All right. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Whew, man. This is an interesting question, and you're going to get people from both sides because you're going to have some. I think it came from the egg. All right, here's what I think. The egg, then chicken, then the Here's egg. what I think, all right? Yep. I think the aliens came first. Dad, that's not the question. The uh, question wait, can is I exp- what came first, the chicken or the egg? Can I explain? Yes. I think the aliens put the egg that they grew inside so basically the egg of some like element 115 made incubator 
and they flew down. Ooh. That's their spaceship landing. They put the egg on a rock. And then a couple weeks later, they come out. Comes out. <laughs> All right. Another one. What is the best topping for pizza? Ooh, and I'm well. going to tell you right now, pepperoni is overrated. Oh, okay. Well, here's what I'll tell you about pepperoni. All pepperoni is not created equal, just like all sausage is not created equal. In other words, that pepperoni at Carluccio's is, is fire. It's great. I think the best topping for pizza is either regatta cheese, specifically, mm-hmm. sausage, or what else? Pesto. See, my number one is sausage. That's my number one. Yeah, sausage is pretty good. Next question. Actually, this is my own question. Who do you think is the best player in the NBA playoffs right now? No, who do you think the best player is in the MLB in the NBA right now? Like so right are this you second. wanting to know what's the best player right this second? Like right this second, like right now. Like not like this season, like right now. All right. I, I can tell you mine I after I would yours. tell you that if I was going to build a basketball team right now around one player right now, it would be Anthony Edwards. Same, I have Anthony Edwards as the – he's playing good, but Tatum has not – just want to bring that up. Tatum's here's the thing. Tatum's good. I think Tatum's a little soft. He's a little too cute. He's a little too pretty. I'm telling you, that's why he's overrated. I don't think he's overrated. I just think he's a little he's a, too yeah. cute. Yeah. Now in baseball. Baseball right now, I think. Who is it? Is it Ranger? No. It Ranger Suarez? I mean, he's doing great, but I'm not sure I'd build a team around him. I think it's Shohei. Because I think he's, you're probably right. Eleven home runs. I, I I think it's like eleven. You can't 10 or even 11. you can't like, even call him a generational talent. He's like a once in a lifetime talent. You don't get players in this era that, that can, that can hit, hit and pitch and pitch like that. Sh- Shohei can give you twelve strikeouts a night and also hit two home runs like he did last season. It's, he, that's he's crazy. Insane. That's crazy. I'll tell you any. Uh, so, all right, I'll get to another question. Can I talk about something really quick? Yeah, sure. We're we're getting to the point where we have to buy you a new bike. And I need a new bike. And right now you have like a mongoose, like BMX style bike. What kind of bike do you want to transition to? Do you want like a mountain bike like mine, or do you want a bike like yours but with the taller tires like all the kids are riding? I think I probably want the one like mine, but the bigger ones. Okay. Because like a mountain bike, I I don't know like. I, I had to look at each and see because mountain bikes can go over a lot of things and when we're at the beach, it won't be as hard to go through the sand because like when well, we go up... We don't really go through the sand. You know, like when we go up, the... Yeah. Um, okay. I'll ask someone... I'll come on. Okay. If you had the world's attention for 30 seconds, what would you say? I had the world's attention for 30 seconds. What would I say? I'd say, hey, everyone, listen up. Stop thinking you have the worst of it. You just got it from that guy. That mom showed us the video yesterday. What are you talking about? That guy who was like, oh, yeah. So, uh, wait, um, do you mind putting the baby voice on? It's not on your mic, though. Oh, he's like... Oh, so you think that you're in the worst day of your life. Just think that someone else has it worse than you. I'm like, that's a pretty good lesson. I guess what I mean is, is like everybody is born to different circumstances. I feel so bad for people that are born into like really bad circumstances. But like no one ever got any better complaining about how bad it is. This is what I would say if I had the whole world for 30 seconds. What would you say? 
Hello. Yeah. I just say hello, and then everyone will go crazy. Yeah? Hmm? The weeb. All right, how about we do two or three more sentences, and then we'll wrap it up. Oh. Or two or three more questions. Um, or I could ask you questions. Yeah, ask, ask me some. All right. Some... Let me see. Ask me like four or three. Like All right, here we go. If you were a candy bar, which candy bar, bar would you be? Does Rice Krispie Treats bars count? No, it's not a candy bar. I'd be Reese's. That's what I would probably be too. And then my second one would be Mr. Beast Bar. Either that or ugh, God, they stink. Either that or I would be a special reserve Hershey's dark chocolate bar. Because mm. I love me some dark chocolate. Um, all right. What would you do with an extra one thousand dollars to spend only on yourself? <laughs> Like, can I do multiple things? Yeah, you have a thousand dollars. I probably buy five hundred dollars, maybe four hundred worth of memorabilia. Next, I I would have how much would I have six that six hundred dollars? Someone sounds like a door. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Um, I probably might spend it on some things, put around the house, maybe. Um, probably get a swimming pool. <laughs> Bro, you have a thousand dollars. You already spent five hundred of it. You ain't getting nothing for five hundred dollars. Like a swimming pool. I probably just go out to Carlitos and get everything. All right, here we go. What is the absolute weirdest nickname someone has given you? Highlighter. Oh, what? Cause your hair. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's this girl. The girls in my school that call me highlighter because of my hair when it was really, really light. Okay. Um. How about this? Would you rather be stranded in America or Europe for the rest of your life? America, because I, I would probably try. Like, Europe is pretty, like with the war right now and like just a bunch of crazy things happening, and I'll be there for the rest of my life. I'd rather be in the U.S. Yeah, I think so too. Because the U.S. is so much has like a lot. You can go to Europe. So, like in the U.S. and make like, yeah. If you could have your own reality TV show, what would it be called? And what would it be? It kind of be like the Tonight Show with Lincoln Wyckoff, and it's like Jimmy Fallon's but Lincoln and I bring in a bunch of guys, and we talk about some stuff. Well, that's real creative. I'm not sure that's a reality show. A reality show would be like, oh, is it like cameras follow me? When I bat, when I play basketball or you know, something like that, I probably do like a reality show where I work with players because my dream job is to work with like athletes and like film and do that kind of stuff and ESPN. But yeah. Okay, I'm gonna ask you two more. These are deep conversation topics. All right. If you had to sum up human nature. In three words, which words would you choose? So if you had to describe all of human nature, what three words? Creative, smelly, <laughs> I don't know, because everyone's smelly. Look at those humans, those creative, smelly... <laughs> Pe like... Oh, what do you, what do you call it? intention? Like, what do you call like someone they're like, when like they're like you know, what is someone they're intentional? What is that? They're, they're moving just moving on. No, I. What's it mean when like they're like special? Like, I don't know. This guy. Okay. Um. 
Do you believe the way we dress affects how we think? No, not at all. You don't think, let me ask you this. So say you wear a pair of sweatpants every day to school. Do you think anybody looks at you and goes, this kid wearing sweatpants again. What a lazy, needs to dress better. Do you think anybody ever does that? Yeah, the, there's some people in my class, when it was like 80 degrees out, I wore sweatpants to school, and they're like, why are you wearing sweatpants? I'm like, mind your beeswax. Okay, but you don't believe the way someone dresses. Actually, I do. I, I didn't really understand the question until you gave, gave an example, so yeah, I, I do sometimes. All right, last one. Like if you wear a LeBron jersey every day, they'll, yeah. Last one. What role does family play in your life? Just protecting me and helping me with a lot of things. Tell the audience, go to each person in our family, me, Franklin, mom, and tell them what role that person plays in your life. So mom probably to probably just to like get when I'm like sad, she like comes in and, you know, like tries to help and helps me do a lot of things. Same with you. Like you help me and do a lot of things, but you also kind of like um, toughen me up and give me good lessons. Franklin just gives me someone to play with and yeah. Do you learn anything from Franklin? I learned like one thing from Franklin a day. It's either a fact about sports or just like something about his personality. Okay. All right. Which I, I already know a lot about his personality and he's kind of like, not, yeah. all right. So last thing you have a really busy week this week. Give me three goals by Sunday. Say by Sunday, these are the three Sunday. goals I want to achieve. Three goals is to do really, really well in NJSLA. Quant. What, like, put it, put in, put a, okay, I, I don't know how that's scored, but okay, continue. Two, get an autograph from at least one Eagles player at the autism thing. And three. At the market, bro. And three, make over $200 at the market. All right. Wow. Those are my three goals. And I'll let you know if I made over 300 our next podcast, which I probably am. So. Well, dude, this was our first. Well, not really. We've done this before, haven't we? One, one, one other time. What do, you, what do you want to call it? Oh, did we tell them about the cards we got? Yeah, we got cards for the Rip Six. Bro, we got awesome business cards for the Rip Six. Don't draw all that. That's my picture. We got awesome square business cards for the ripsticks, dude. I'm struggling to get the children. I want to hand them out, though. Yeah, hold on. Wait, I'm going to do... I'm making 13 loaves of bread and sell them each for $10. So if I sell all of them... That's 130 It's 130 You're right. So... Sorry. Anything else? Oh, I wish. Are you there? If, like, I want to make a one of those poll things, and see if our audience will do it. Um, what should I spend my money on, and see if I get an idea? Well, if I can figure that out, we'll do that. All right. And the options is going to be other memorabilia, um, some games, and Nintendo. I, I don't know. I'm gonna spoil what I want. Alright. I love you. Stop. I love you. I love you. Alright, guys. That's all. I gotta go work on my nickel market now. Oh, just say it. I love you. Thank you. I love you. Bye. Bye. Tyrese Maxi, all the thing incoming. Just wait.